Hi, this is Tracy HD, and I want to thank you for joining me today for our monthly December 2017 tarot reading, and this will be for the sign of Aquarius. As I shuffle the deck, I'm asking all light beings, angels, and God, please relay the message I need to share with my viewers for the highest good of all. And for the beginning of the month, we'll take a card from the top. Middle of the month, we're going to take a card from the center. And the end of the month, we're going to take a card from the bottom. Okay, what's going on here, Aquarius? Okay, we start the month out with the Six of Wands. Okay, we have these Six Wands going each way. And when I look at this card in the beginning of the month, the energy that you're going to be feeling, okay, is that you're finally getting recognized for something you've done. Okay, maybe you're getting a promotion at work. Okay, maybe you're getting recognized for some type of an achievement. Okay, but or a promotion is coming, okay? So this is showing you that whatever you've been working hard on, okay, it's going to pay off. Whatever it is that you want to accomplish, it's going to pay off. Maybe it's been delayed. Maybe you've been disappointed before, okay? But something's coming that's of a positive nature. However, though, in the middle of the month, you can't let yourself get like this, okay? We have the Five of Cups. We have this woman holding her face in her hands. She's looking down in, in, in a sad, sad feeling. We have three cups upside down, two are up, and she has the water in the background. And as we know, the cups are our emotions, okay? And we all give in to our emotions, myself included. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard not to, but we got to stop ourselves, Okay, you're going to experience some type of temporary loss. Okay, it's temporary, this feeling in the middle of the month. You're going to feel disappointed and betrayed. Okay, some type of disappointment, maybe from a friend or family member. Okay, and you know, maybe peep, this person has let you down in the past and maybe you gave them another chance and now they're doing it again. Okay, but you still have a lot of positive things, okay, that are coming your way. So who's ever doing what to you, do not allow yourself to sink into this, this pit of desperation and, and this feeling of, of deception and betrayal, okay? It's possible that maybe someone who's gotten wind of whatever's coming your way that's good, like maybe promotion or, or something you've been working on, some kind of recognition, maybe some, we thought that someone that should have been happy for you wasn't exactly happy. It maybe has a tad bit of jealousy. You know, not everybody's happy for us. Not everybody claps when we achieve something or, or we win something or something good happens to us. And it's sad because you would think that your closest friends and family members would be happy for you in your achievements. But sometimes people, like I said, they could be jealous and, and they could, you know, feel, how could I say, maybe lesser, that they're not moving in the direction you're moving in. But don't allow this to, to drag you down in the middle of December. This disappointment, this temporary loss is going to be short-lived. Okay, so you got to realize sometimes not everybody's happy for us, but don't give in to these emotions here. Okay, and I know it's easier said than done. You know, it's not good feeling betrayed, especially around the holidays. You may be uh, coming into contact with people that you don't usually see most of the year. You know, maybe at a family gathering, someone in from out of town, maybe a friend that you haven't seen in a while, a family member you haven't seen in a while. Okay, but just remember that there are still positive factors at work that you haven't seen yet. Okay, things could be going on behind the scenes in your favor. Okay, which it looks like there's a good start at something here in the beginning of the month. So don't let who's ever making you feel disappointed or betrayed take that joy away because something good is going to come. You just have to be patient. And then here we have the Nine of Swords. And again, we have this woman and she's sitting on this couch. It looks like she's in her nightgown and she's holding her face like something dreadful, okay, has taken place. And, and she looks like she's paralyzed from it, okay? And again, you're feeling some kind of disappointment and anxiety that you just can't seem to shake off here. You're still lingering in that at the end of the month. But guess what? This is self-inflicted. Okay, have faith in yourself and have faith that positive things are going on behind the scenes. Okay, things are not as bad as they seem in your mind. Okay, this is the card of the drama queen and we all fall into that role every once in a while because like I said, we could get so emotionally 
wrapped up. And this is telling you not to. Okay. Don't allow, you know, whatever it is that you're maybe being fearful of you, fearful of you. I'm getting tongue tied. I'm sorry. Don't allow whatever fear is going on in your mind. Okay. To snowball into a full blown thought attack, because trust me, it's not what it seems. You're self-imposing this suffering upon yourself. You're, you're making yourself more anxious. You're, you're, you're dreading something that isn't even close to what you're thinking. And we always do tend to gravitate towards the negative. You know, we're always worried about this or that. Focus on something positive at the end of the month because good things are coming your way. Some type of achievement, some type of maybe promotion at work. Um, don't feel in despair like this with your emotions. Don't allow it to carry into the new year, okay? Because things are going to work out. Everything's in divine timing, in divine order. And I know it's easier to say, okay, when things are going good, that things will work out. And here you're feeling, like I said, this desperation that you're making something out to be worse than it really is. Okay, and don't allow yourself to be suffering like this. Okay, it's not as bad as it seems. It's going to all work out for your highest good. You hang in there. If you've enjoyed this reading, please subscribe to my channel because I will be back.